Um, I've been with Patriot Assistance Dogs for approximately 10 years. I used to live in this area, most recently in the Forest Lake. I started out as a satellite trainer for them, fostering and training, and have um, since gotten called to move to Detroit Lakes, started going up for classes, became involved in the organization. Um, to my right, just in order, uh, and excuse me, to my left is uh, Leia. We do not call her Princess Leia because she already thinks she's one. Uh, Steph will give you a little broader overview of the program, but she is a dog from a rescue. Um, she garners a lot of attention because of her stunning eyes. There's probably some husky in there. Um, the rest is guess your best. We are not breed specific. We have a lot of rescued dogs, rescuing veterans. She is, she came to us in April at about nine to 10 months of age when they're running as a stray. It's a guess your best uh, until we get veterinary confirmation. So she's on the young side, but she has now been in training for about six months. She should be ready in January. Each dog takes from six months to a year or longer if it's a puppy. Um, but we'll, we'll expand on that. But that's her brief history. And she does have the Husky Yodel, so we know that's in there. But to my right is Steph Medved. She is my co-trainer. Um, and she, I'll just let you guys introduce yourself. Uh, like she said, my name is Stephanie Medved. I'm one of the uh, only other trainers for Patriot Assistance Dogs. Um, this little girl right here is Ivy Rose. Uh, she was donated to the program uh, from a breeder in our area. Um, so she's in a foster home being trained. Um, I brought her here today because I thought this would be a really good experience for her. Um, a little overview about the program. We were founded in 2011. Um, Patriot Assistance Dogs, we dedicate ourselves to rescuing dogs, therefore, Training them for service work, psychiatric service work specifically for military veterans. Um, so we rescue dogs so they can rescue our veterans. Um, yeah, you got stereo now. Thanks. <laughs> um, so these dogs are trained uh, to uh, a specific set of skills or tasks that helps mitigate uh, things like night terrors, TBI, um, panic, anxiety, depression, isolation. Um, any number of mental health issues. Um, the, some of the tasks that they're trained to do um, is space mitigation. A lot of our veterans don't like people in their space or people walking up behind them, so our dogs are trained to reposition to create a barrier so that people can't walk up on our veterans without them knowing. Um, they're also trained to do some comfort skills, um, use their body to initiate physical contact in order to draw the attention of the veteran back to the dog, almost pulling them back to reality. Um, they are trained to mitigate night terrors, so a lot of our veterans suffer from night terrors. They wake up screaming, yelling, swinging. Um, a lot of them actually have to sleep in separate beds from their spouses because of their night terrors. And then they get a dog that is trained to wake them before, that they're, before their nightmare escalates. And now that they have a, an ability to control that, they're able to sleep in the same bed as their spouse although now they have to share it with the dog, but, <laughs> but it, it works out. Um, so, so far since 2011, we've certified 265 teams, um, which it, it's a lot, it's, it's so amazing, and we're very proud of every one of those teams. Um, but let me give you a, a comparison. Um, in our service area, Minnesota and its surrounding four states, um, there are 934,304 veterans. So we barely made a dent, okay? So, and, and the need for this is so huge. That's why we're here today. We wanna to get the, our name out there, get the word out that we're here to help. Uh, we want anyone that has a veteran um, in their family uh, that, that struggles from anything, um, speak to one of us, we'll get you some contact information and we'll get them on the right path and, and maybe they're a fit for us. So um, to my right, this is Tony Carruthers. He's one of the veteran dog teams that's going through the program right now, so. Thank you. you guys just want to introduce yourself a little bit to the story, so go ahead and introduce yourself.
Hi, uh, my name is Tony Carruthers. I, I am a, uh, a PAD veteran. In training, uh, I, me and Captain Kirk, this is Captain Kirk. Um, he, he's named Captain Kirk because he was, uh, he was sponsored by Dennis Kirk Racing here in the cities. And their one ask was that we named him. That's easy. Um, sorry, I get a little. Um, so I, I suffer from anxiety, PTSD, and, and night terrors. Um, I don't I don't do well in large crowds, uh, but he's he's helping me. I, Costco. I don't I don't go to Costco. I'll drive by and let him throw it in the truck, but I'm not going to Costco. But I can now. <laughs> you know, it, it it he helps, and and like she said, it. it it gets us out of our own mind, and, and so much it's 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 our own mind that gets in the way of what we want to do. And um, moving here from Oregon two and a half years ago, the Portland VA is a very large regional medical center for veterans. And when you uh, when you go there, you're going to see a lot of broken people. You're going to see a lot of homeless people. And I'm telling you, when 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 they meet their partner. And, 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 and the process of meeting the partner is, is quite wonderful because they, they go through a couple of days in classes typically. And then at about the midway point, the dog starts to gravitate towards their partner. So it's almost to a great degree the dog is going to choose the partner. Now we do have veteran owned service dogs that come in and, and, and we do those as well. But um, seeing a veteran that, that you know uh, saw dark days and seeing them come back out, um, I, I, that changed my life and I had to get involved. And um, this was a very, uh, a blessing, Captain Gurr, because um, I didn't know what I could do. So that's our story. Um, if you know of anybody that could potentially, have them reach out. I mean, we're here and, and, and we're growing and we realize it, but um, you know, the veteran needs are today. And so thank you for the opportunity and thank you for listening. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adam Burling and uh, this here is Miss Molly. Um, she and I have been a team now for uh, we've been a team now for a little over three years. Um, I got her the last week of July 2020, um, so right before the pandemic and all that kind of stuff was going on. And um, I'm an Army veteran and also suffer um, PTSD, anxiety, and night terrors. Um, so the program. Um, however many dogs are set um, and ready for placement. Um, when the class time comes around, that's how many veterans they invite up. And uh, as Tony was saying, um, you know, the veterans work with every dog during that week. And uh, uh, at the, by the end of the week, the dog will pick the veteran. And uh, they, uh, during the interview process, um, one of the questions that is asked is, you know, what kinds of dogs um, do you have experience with? Um, have you, you know, had dogs in the past? And my answer was, uh, I'd grown up with large breed dogs all my life. And, uh, you know, as they said, they're never really sure <laughs> how many, uh, she likes the attention. Um, you know, what kind of dog is gonna be um, up there in the class, but uh, they, I was really excited that I'd heard that they had me initially paired with this beautiful German Shepherd dog. And uh, I was like, great, you know, I'm gonna walk out of there with the biggest, baddest looking dog. <laughs> and uh, so I was totally stoked. And I got up there and first day I clipped my leash to him, his name was Krieg. And uh, he was flawless in his tasks and everything like that. But it was more of like, you know, I better do this because mom's watching, you know, kind of a thing. And one of the other veterans was, uh, um, a SWAT commander for one of the suburbs and uh, very commanding presence just you know 
and uh, he clipped his leash to him, and it was just instantaneous. I mean, you could not deny that those two were meant to be together. And uh, Miss Molly actually wasn't even really set for to be in my class because she wasn't feeling well um, before, but they, uh, they took her out on, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday of that week. And uh, <coughs> during that week, um, I think starting Tuesday, the veteran can um, take one of the dogs uh, for open, um, overnight mm -hmm. to see how you know the pairing goes. And first night I had a dog and she almost caused a little more anxiety for me. She was just a very active and, and that's not really where I'm at. Um, so then uh, the next night, yeah, so it was Wednesday, um, they brought Molly out and there seemed to be a pretty good connection. So I took her um, to the hotel that night. And um, when, when we were up there, um, like I said, I've had night terrors, and uh, she woke me up four times that night from my night terrors before they actually kicked in. And um, in 23 years, that was the first night I didn't have. Um, sorry. In 23 years, that was the first night I didn't have a nightmare, and. You want to talk about a life-changing situation? I mean, that's it right there. And uh, by the end of the week, she uh, she picked me, and I, so I walked out with little Betty Badass here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's she's everything I never never knew that I that I needed, you know. But uh, she knows, and because of her, I, I am now finally in a successful relationship as well. Um, I've had two not quite so successful ones in the past, and uh, you know, nothing on them is, I, I was a bear to live with. And now, I'm, I'm human again, and it's all from this organization and the support that uh, they offer to us. Um, daily, hourly, by the minute, if we need. They, uh, they're, they're always there 24 hours a day. And uh, they're my family, and I love them a lot, and so, yeah. So I just wanna go over one more thing quick. Um, so these are uh, certified service dogs. Um, and I'm going to tell you the difference between a service dog and a therapy dog. Uh, service dog is a highly trained dog that's spe specifically trained to mitigate for one and only one person. Um, therapy dogs, on the other hand, are highly trained dogs that are um, able to mitigate for many or all. Um, so if you see a, a dog that has a vest on that says it is a working service dog, um, we ask that you pretend it's a wheelchair. Okay, if I came in here in a wheelchair, how many of you would walk up and say, can I pet your wheelchair? <laughs> Probably not many of you, okay? So we, we ask that, that's basically what they are to our veterans, is a prosthetic for the brain, okay? They, it's, it's a medical apparatus, it's part of their daily medication to keep them there and in the world with us, okay? So if you see a working dog, the best thing to do is just ignore them. Um, uh, and if you if you can't help yourself, please ask first. Um, most of our dogs have a visit command, um, but we don't need our dogs out seeking attention um, from everybody that walks by so that they miss yeah. their veterans struggling, okay? And that's why we do that, is it's their job, they're working. I don't get to go to work and make all my social phone calls and hang out on Facebook all day. Um, I'm working, so I'm, I'm working. Um, thank you.